Pivotal, in my view, is a quintessential open source company. This is how it was created from the get-go. It's not one of the cases where the company had to reinvent itself to become a full-fledged open source company. This is how the company was designed. And I think it's to its greatest advantage that uh, Pivotal is now leveraging all the power of open source to essentially create a next generation platform for enabling all of the enterprises to become digital companies. Every automotive company, every healthcare company, every financial services institution has a digital agenda today. At the heart of that is software. How can they provide new software-based experiences uh, to their customers, to their partners, and to themselves? And so in order to actually become a digital company, in order to build great software, at the core of it is to be able to manage, process, analyze, compute on huge volumes of data. It's kind of ground zero for, to some extent, creating great software. Apache Hawk represents in excess of a decade of R&D that was originally invested in the Greenplum database and more recently into the Hawk engine itself. The reason we undertook the process of uh, open sourcing it is that uh, open source is clearly key to companies buying patents these days. Engaging with developers on a worldwide scale is something that's completely unique to open source. And we really believe in this engine. We really find that probably 80, 90% of the workload today is either SQL driven or wants to be SQL driven. And I think what the announcement is about today is about a Hadoop native implementation of SQL, one that integrates directly with resource management, one that incorporates directly the open formats that exist uh, in the Hadoop platform, and that coexists with all the other important capabilities that Hadoop provides, and that Hadoop is now really turned into a full-featured enterprise database. What we've been able to achieve, I think, with Apache Hawk is to bring the capability, the know-how, uh, and the history of uh, SQL in its business context to this exciting next generation of Hadoop. And what we realized actually when working with customers is they didn't want a database system that was independent of their Hadoop cluster. One that had its own way of managing resources, one that had its own way of installing, configuring, and operating the software, and one that had its own way of integrating with the catalog and the data that's actually stored in Hadoop. They really thought about the Hadoop cluster itself as being a database system. Um, and so I think what we've seen is the industry learning from actually how customers want to use Hadoop. And so that is a process that, that we've uh, undergone over the last year and a half to basically rewrite Hawk, to re-architect uh, the Hawk code base so that it really thought of itself as just another first-class citizen of the Hadoop ecosystem, not separate. And so I think really what today is about is actually trying to move past the notion of SQL on Hadoop uh, to something where SQL is synonymous with Hadoop. SQL's inside Hadoop, right? SQL is Hadoop. Um, and these kinds of trends, I think, are uh, really been a process of discovery for the industry and we're excited to participate. So the ODPI really exists to accelerate the development of Hadoop in the enterprise. It's a group of vendors, whether they're people who are in charge of Hadoop distributions, telecommunications companies, or application companies, that are all interested in a common platform to drive faster innovation and greater compatibility. One of the challenges with Hadoop distributions is that they're all slightly different. Um, everything from which components are included in that distribution to uh, how they get um, uh, the values from environment variables, how those are set, and where the paths for where packages are. Like there's all of these tiny, tiny differences. It's a little bit like Unix back in the day when all of the flavors or Unix were the same but slightly different so that you couldn't actually guarantee that something that ran on one flavor would run on another flavor. So with the ODPI, we actually can make it much easier for software vendors to be able to write software that works on Hadoop and have it work across multiple stacks. We witnessed enterprises and customers and businesses struggling with all of these moving piece parts. And so we've come together with a number of enterprise leaders, counterparts of ours in the industry, and we're driving towards a standardized core of Hadoop so that enterprises can have a predictable, reliable building block of Hadoop and services to build off of. So the ODPI is focused on simplifying and reducing the risk that's associated with collecting these moving parts of the Hadoop ecosystem together 
for production use cases. Therefore, end users can know what they're getting and know as they're developing big data applications that it will work in an ODPI environment.